in this topic and the coming few topics we are going to discuss the last chapter of the course of international human resource management and the topic is future trends in human resource management and inter and in international human resource management we will be discussing about things which are not generally discussed under the uh, discussion of human resources uh, generally when we talk about human resource management we discuss about the various functions of human resource management uh, which are um, uh, performance appraisals performance management selection recruitment all the functions which are re related with human resource management typically uh, but uh, in this topic uh, we are going to talk about those current trends and those issues uh, which are now becoming a part of management of human resources as uh, because the um, the current scenario or and the environment that requires such type of topics to be discussed and those uh, particular areas are important in human resource management particularly in international human resource management so uh, what are those let's take a look uh, so topics which are not generally dis uh, discussed in the international human resource management literature but they are very much important in managing human resources particularly in the international environment uh, those are number one international business ethics so you know that business ethics is an emerging domain it is something which has taken importance post millennium uh, before the 2000 uh, this was a topic which is not much discussed in the business management literature but after 2000 and onwards because of certain scandals business scandals like uh, xerox uh, like exxon uh, those type of ethical scandals they led to the discussion of business ethics in uh, business management literature and therefore in international business management literature as well uh, so international business ethics is also an important topic and because ethics is something which is related with a uh, human aspect which is related with the social aspect therefore it comes under the domain of human resource management uh, then an, import an important topic which is usually uh, it is not given that much importance is the mode of, op of uh, operation uh, mode of operation is very much important in determining the strategy and in determining uh, the working of a, a subsidiary or the working of an entire international business of or of a multinational uh, so for example if it is a family business then the mode of operation of that particular company is going to affect uh, the way human resources are managed over there uh, so for example if it is a family business uh, the top level management usually is going to belong to the same family so the social and uh, the familial ties which exist between people of that family they are going to definitely affect so if you have to select a board member in a family business it is going to be the familiar and uh, familial re uh, relationship the kinship relationship which is going to determine whether the person is going to become a part of the board of uh, uh, board of directors or not um, uh, it is also possible that some family businesses they may employ a certain type of merit criteria to um, appoint these members but in family businesses people who are part of the family they have a different kind of uh, uh, input and they have a different kind of place and position in family businesses and family businesses uh, although it is something which is uh, uh, which is not given that much importance 95% uh, of the world's top businesses are family businesses actually for example samsung is a family business uh, for example uh, other uh, major companies they are owned as family businesses uh, so that is one of the important aspect which is not generally uh, discussed in the general human resource management literature uh, then uh, is the uh, and another aspect of uh, human resource management is the role of NGOs uh, 
so there are many NGOs which work in the entire world which actually affect the way things are managed in organizations. So NGOs, they put kind of pressure, uh, they create pressure groups for management of human resources in organizations. For example, uh, it, it, they, they create pressure groups for equal employment opportunity. They create pressure groups for uh, uh, female representation. They, press, uh, they create pressure groups for child labor. They can create pressure groups for uh, discrimination of people based on ethnicities or language or color. Uh, so there are various different uh, NGOs which uh, can create a certain kind of pressure group on an organization and therefore affect the way human resources are managed in that organization. And finally, one of the most emerging aspect uh, which is uh, very much related to management of organizations as well as it is related to human resource management that is contributing to safety and security and dealing with terrorism. You know that uh, safety, security and terrorism, they have become one of the most discussed topics in, uh, in general affairs as well as well in, in academics uh, because it is something which has given the, um, the world a, a new landscape. Um, this is a new way of warfare. Uh, previously, wars were fought on battlefields. Now, wars, they are fought through these kind of terrorism tactics. And um, uh, that is how um, uh, certain groups and certain people are able to dominate the world's landscape. Uh, so this is something which is an emerging trend an emerging issue which needs to be dealt from various different levels of uh, the society so organizations because they are a part of the society and because they employ a huge amount of people and they contribute to various different inputs and outputs of the society organizations they are affected and they have to take measures in order to control and in order to respond to the, these kind of threats and these kind of issues which are created because of uh, uh, these safety and security issues, the issues of terrorism. Uh, so we are going to discuss uh, international business ethics in detail and the topic about safety and security in detail in the next topics. Um, this uh, type of uh, uh, functions of human resource management, they are considered to be, in Japan, they are considered, they are, uh, they are called the general affairs of the organization. And because general affairs of the organization, for example, if you have to deal with ethics, if you deal with, have to deal with the type of uh, business it is owned, if you have to deal with people uh, coming from NGOs, if you have to deal with terrorism and safety and security, so you have safety and security obviously logon ki hi ensure karni hai. Or logon ke through hi aapko ensure karni hai. Sitra ethics jo hai, wo aapko logon ke andar hi instill karni hai. Or aapko ye koshish karni hai ke log aapke jo hai, aapke employees jo hai, wo ethical behaviors jo hai, wo show kare. So ye human resources ke hi functions hai. Or Japan mein in functions ko. Uh, general affairs ka jata hai. So, ye jo function hai human resource management ka aur is tarah ke maamlaat ko uh, deal karne ka usko Japan mein uh, human resources and general affairs ka jo hai wo concept diya jata hai. Uh, ye baaki dunia mein bhi jo hai wo ab uh, emerging uh, ek uh, phenomena hai ke human resources is not just human resources they also manage the general affairs such as ethics and security and terrorism issues. What uh, is the reason? Because the uh, human resource management department, hai, they are expected that they will be the first line of defense with unpredictable and emergent issues from the many and varied environments and constituency, uh, constituency groups that make up the complexity of the multinational organizations. So uh, it is expected that the human resource department, hai, 
وہ آپ کی کیونکہ یہ سب آسپیکٹس یہ سب پرابلمس یہ سب ایشوز دے آر آل ریلیٹڈ ٹو ڈیلنگ وتھ پیپل سو بیکاز اٹ از سم تھنگ وچ از ریلیٹڈ ٹو ڈیلنگ وتھ پیپل سو اٹ از ایکسپیکٹیڈ کہ جو آپ کا ہیومن ریسورس ڈپارٹمنٹ ہے وہ ان ایشوز کو ڈیل کرنے کے لیے اٹ ول بی یور فسٹ لائن آف ڈیفینس دے ول بی ٹیکنگ دا فسٹ لائن آف ڈیفینس ایکشنز ٹو ٹیک چارج آف دیز پرابلمس اینڈ ایشوز ایز دے کم اپ سو ان دا کمنگ ٹاپکس وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس کیس اسٹڈیز ان وچ یو ول آلسو سی دیٹ ہاؤ ہیومن ریسورسز دے ہیو ٹو بی انوالو ان لوکنگ آفٹر دیز ویریس ایشوز of uh, the organization uh, so that means that uh, these external aspects and internal aspects they have to be inbuilt into the human resource management function and practices of the organization uh, so that means that it has to drive the strategy of the organization so the way organizations human resources are managed uh, so the strategic management is going to be determined by these issues which occur in the environment or inside the organization so if you remember that in the first chapter in the first few topics we had discussed a strategic model of human re- international human resource management so i'm going to go back to that model so that now you can uh, you you can put these topics in place in that particular model So in this model this is a strategic human resource management framework in the multinational so you can see that the contributing factors are the external factors and then the organizational factors and in external factors you try to analyze through pestle analysis then the organizational links with other multinationals and with national groups then asymmetric events and environmental dynamics so asymmetric events environmental dynamics these are the you know, for example if there is a national calamity if there is a uh, if there is a terrorist attack that is an asymmetric event then environmental dynamic how ethics are managed in a particular organization in a particular environment or culture and all these things they all fit into these external factors and then when you come to organizational factors the multinational balance of global integration and local responsiveness the multinational structure firm size and maturity multinational strategy corporate governance headquarters international orientation multinational culture so for example if mode of operation for example if the type of uh, organization if it is a family business that has to be dealt with so that is going to contribute uh, from the aspect of multinational structure that is going to contribute from the aspect of firm size and maturity uh, so a family business if, at what level of maturity it is it is going to determine how the human resources of that family business are going to be managed and similarly the corporate governance aspect particularly in family businesses that is something which is very important because corporate governance is something which is lacking in family businesses and similarly multinational culture which comes from the way ethics is managed the way business is managed the way people feel safe and secure in the organization so all of these things they then translate into the multinational culture so all these things they are a part of these external and organizational factors which then are then they lead to the human resource function which generates the global corporate hr role the hr practices the crisis management and coordination and that is something which leads to multinational performance which is financial and social performance and the enterprise resilience so all these factors uh, they fit into the strategic hrm model of multinationals and therefore all these things ethics mode of operation safety and security all these things they need to be managed from a perspective of human resource and a strategic perspective has to be adopted in order to manage these additional aspects of human resource management